Hey guys, Pixie here. Um, I'm in the roleplay world on the MindSquish server. Uh, actually, I'm not actually on the MindSquish server. My internet is so bad right now that I can't connect to the server. Fortunately, I have a single player copy of the map, so I've just uh, started the roleplay world up in my single player Minecraft. So this is the, just to introduce it, the MindSquish roleplay world. This is a world that we are creating for people who have the donator rank on the server. Master builders can also join the world and help us build. So the only way you can get here is if you donate to the server. Now some of you may think this is a bit cheeky, and I thought it was maybe a bit cheeky. But um, I voiced the idea on the server when there were a bunch of players on, and I said, uh, how would you guys feel if we were to make a world that was only accessible to donators? And they loved the idea so much that in about an hour we had $100 worth of donations, so all our players are really psyched about the idea. And that was before I'd even told them it was going to be a roleplay world. So this is the roleplay world spawn. It's sort of steampunky, fantasy-ish type stuff, like this thing here is a big crane. And there's a villager inside, so you'll see it's actually a people-powered crane. That's the wheel, and this is the uh, dangly bit that the wheel powers. Um, there's a rail track that goes down into a mine. And there's some buildings around. Uh, if I come down here, there are some plots of land. Plot. And that's a plot. Uh, we don't know the full details of how it's going to work yet, but everything will be cuboided and regened off. And inside towns and villages, you have plots of land that you can buy or rent, like these guys, to build your own stuff on. Or you can buy or rent uh, pre-built houses to, to use. Uh, this is a ship over here that I made. Yay! Um, there'll be, uh, your experience will be uh, sort of controlled and guided, so you'll have certain places that you can mine and only certain things you can dig up from there. And uh, all the things like that will be reset, so, you know, refresh, so the ores will come back. And there'll be uh, little forests or groves, orchards, like this little one that you can chop wood in. Um, there'll be storylines. We are making storylines with signposts and uh, books scattered around the place, little sort of quest lines for you to follow. Everything will be controlled. Um, we'll have mob spawning only in certain areas. And then the experience you get, the actual little XP orbs that determine your in-game level, you can only spend them at the um, enchantment tables, and those will be very difficult to find. So we're going to be controlling how much experience you get, where you get it from, and then where you can spend it. And they'll, in, they'll be in very dangerous places, so you'll have to fight your way through dungeons and stuff to get to the enchantment tables. So that's a sort of quick idea of the type of world we've got going here. And I uh, wanted to show you around some of the things that have been built. This is an old version of the map. There's a lot been built since then. Let's find the road. There's the road. Um, I wanted to make it daytime. I've changed this to a LAN server. This world was made in 125 and it's on 1.3 now in my single player Minecraft. And for some reason the time change command wasn't working, so I've had to wait for daytime. Um, so the whole world will be uh, pre designed, if you will. There'll be wilderness areas with nothing there, and there'll be lots of towns, villages, settlements, cities, buildings, ruins stuff everywhere. Um, the wilderness areas will be cuboided so that you can build there and PvP will more than likely be turned on there. And there'll be places where you can build freely but it'll be more dangerous to do so um, because you'll have PvP, higher rates of monster spawning, um, TNT allowed, you know, that kind of thing. So it'll be safer for you to buy a plot or a pre-built house in one of the towns, villages or cities but then it'll also be more expensive. And down here, oops, we have a uh, ancient city of Shakar archaeological dig site. So there'll be lots of stuff like this around. Um, things for you to explore and find traps, adventures, treasures, that kind of thing. Lighthouse there, and down here we have a market bazaar. Let's just go to the front gate. So you can sort of see the, the road coming this way. And down here. Here we go. 
So uh, this is out in the desert. Um, there's some little houses, uh, little farm areas. There's a windmill over here. There'll be, uh, you know, tradey stores, that kind of thing. They've all got nice bright coloured roofs. Let's go inside and go up onto the roof. Bedroom up here. So that's cute. I'm stuck now. Yay! Oh, I can get out this way. Woot! Uh, public mine. High button. Grr. So this will all be controlled. There'll be a specific patch that you can mine in. Um, as I said, it's for people who have the donator rank only. The d donation information is on the IndieSquish website. There's no minimum donation um, apart from PayPal's minimum amount. We take our donations through PayPal, but you don't need a PayPal account to use PayPal. Uh, you just need a card. Uh, over here we have warning, deadly pit monster up ahead. RIP Boba Fett. Some of you may recognize what this is. Yay. Um, so PayPal's minimum donation amount is $1. And if you donate $1, we get 66 cents. Um, and that will get you donator rank and it will get you into the RP world. So the world isn't open yet. Just clear these lighting bugs. Um, but we have opened it up for donators to come in and look around while we're building it. So you can currently visit the world and look around, but you can't touch anything or do anything. You know, you can't break blocks. You can't actually use the world as it's meant to be yet. Let's come over this way. Uh, but you can watch us build it. And now that the Indie Squish, the Mind Squish server is back on 1.3 fully with all our worlds hooked up and everything, uh, admins will be continuing building on here. Let's just go up this road. And the world is bordered, but it's, uh, let's see, Eloy's house. The world is bordered, but it's quite a big border, and there's tons of stuff to see here. There's so much stuff to explore, even now, with it in a very unbuilt state. Over here, you've got some ruins down there. And over this way, there's a big jungle. There's some stuff going on in the jungle. Let's come down here, follow this path. So this world is a great way to show you support for the Indie Squish community, which is entirely run on donations. We pay for all our servers, uh, server hosting, web hosting, everything on donations. Uh, we run game giveaways as well. We just had a giveaway where we give away an indie title every day for seven days. That was really fun and quite successful. Everybody had a blast and people got to win stuff. So we like doing things like that. And donating helps us do that and helps make the community that you play in a better community. So this is a nice jungle path. And it does lead somewhere eventually. Let's fly up. Oh, nice bridge. There's loads of stuff on you that I haven't seen yet. Let's just fly over here. So here's another um, steampunky dock type thing with a little ship there. And a crane. There's some awesome building being going on on the server. So I'm going to fly back down to another place to show you in another direction. While I'm flying, I'm just going to talk briefly about a couple of projects that I've started. One of them is called My Brother Did It, and that's at mybrotherdidit.com. It's a new website. Um, as an admin of a, of a community like Indie Squish, I see a lot of crazy things, um, things that stress me out and make me pull my hair out, you know, people being idiots, that kind of thing. Um, and usually I'd share them on my personal blog or just a paste bin on Twitter or something. I decided it'd be cool to set up an actual site for sharing all this stuff that I encounter as a server admin. So I've set up the site, it's mybrotherdidit.com. And there's actually a bunch of authors on there, aside from me, other people who have their own servers and share their own stories. So head over there. It's for the lols, I'll put the link in the video description. Skeletons looking at the big airship. Hey guys, 
you're having fun, you're not burning up. See, there's something weird, um, it's currently daytime, and they aren't burning up. Uh, when the moon comes up, they start burning. So that's uh, quite odd. So this is a huge airship. I think Coombe built it. Maybe it was Ormsford. I can't remember, but it's really huge and kind of spectacular. So that's that. And there's a mage tower over there. That's on fire. If I get over to it. Somewhere. Where did you go? Maybe it's in an ungenerated chunk. It's down here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Right in front of me. Load! Boom. So there's that. And in, I think, this direction, we'll uh, head over to the little fishing village that I made. Uh, the circular village that uh, I did some videos on, you're watching me build. There it is. It's finished now, it's entirely decorated, uh, thanks to Congering who helped me decorate it. And uh, that's out here in the middle of the ocean, with the huge chunk error. So that's this. There are two ways to sail in, you can sail in through both there and over here. And at the back of the buildings, there's also places you can drop your boat off and pop in through one of the doors. So that's quite fun. So this is the Indie Squish Roleplay World. The, uh, the server does require you to be whitelisted, and the whitelisting is sort of strict-ish. We've got a, an application form. Um, because the server is for our community, we need you to be a part of the community before you apply. And it's also a family-friendly server. We have lots of kids playing on our server with their mums and dads. We have kids as young as five-year-old playing with us. We have entire families playing with us, mum, mum dad, and kids. Um, so we're very strict on language and stuff. But it's an awesome, awesome server. There's hardly any griefing because the admins are so scary. Um, and, uh, yeah, everybody's really friendly and respectful and... It's just a great place to hang out and play Minecraft. We've got over 5,000 people on the whitelist, but we usually see 30 to 50 players online at a time in peak hours, fortunately, because I think if all of them logged on at once, I would explode. So uh, the server information is in the video description. Go down there and check it out. And we are almost on 4,000 members in the Indie Squish, uh, signed up on the Indie Squish forum. So uh, go sign up and help us get to 4,000 members. And do consider donating to get access to the roleplay world. And uh, with more money, we can do more giveaways and give you better games and run more servers and just make the whole thing awesomer. Awesomer. Thank you for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye.